Is this really, really true? Because if it is, it's extremely shocking. But what people don't understand is this has been going on for a very, very long time. The fact is 1% of the population controls about 97% of the wealth. And the reason why all this stuff is being exposed now is because of the interwebs. Before, it was hidden in plain sight. So now that it's hidden in plain sight, the distractions are designed to get us to fight. And when you fight and you're trading time for money, you don't have time to pay attention. So there's all kinds of TikTok videos and YouTube videos around BlackRock. BlackRock, BlackRock. Well, let me break it down for you guys and share with you practically what this means. So yes, BlackRock owns everything. And you truly are fighting an invisible enemy. Everybody's posting about it, fighting about it, arguing about it. But the question is, what to do about it? Arguing, protesting, going after each other is the wrong thing to do. And at the end of this video, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. I don't know if it'll work for you, but it will work for me. So two things you need to understand. BlackRock, number one, is the largest asset manager in the world. You need to know Blackstrop, BlackRock, State Street, and Vanguard. So those three are all connected, and they are the largest asset managers in the world. Pretty much from the minute you wake up to the minute you go to bed, everything you touch, they own something of it or part of it. And they're one of the most powerful, powerful ecosystems in human history. Another thing you need to understand is in 2008 and 2020, BlackRock was tapped by the Federal Reserve to balance out the markets. So BlackRock, the largest asset manager in the world, was tapped, was tapped by the Federal Reserve to balance out our markets. Another thing to understand is that in 2019 on the back end, Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock, was asked to be on the board of trustees for the World Economic Forum. The World Economic Forum was created in 1971, the same time we detached from the gold standard. Now, the World Economic Forum is a group of people that meet in Davos every single year, the wealthiest people and the biggest companies in the world. Okay, so we know BlackRock is the largest asset manager in the world connected to Vanguard and State Street. We know that Larry Fink and BlackRock was tapped to balance out our markets when the markets went crazy. But how much do they really own? And where are we going? So let's take a look at their portfolio. Okay, so here is BlackRock's portfolio. Okay, so if you start here, if you go down this list nice and slow, the top three, Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Alphabet, Tesla, Meta, which is Facebook, United Health, Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett, Johnson & Johnson, Eli Lilly, Visa, Exxon, JP Morgan, just keep going, Pepsi, Chevron, Coca-Cola, you'll see Wells Fargo in here, Costco, Walmart, everything you touch, everything you touch, they own billions and billions of dollars in shares. Okay, so here's to show you that Larry Fink in 2019 was tapped to be on the board of trustees for the World Economic Forum. Okay, so what does this mean? Okay, so what does this mean? So Larry Fink and BlackRock are the largest, largest organization, company, asset manager in the world. Everything you touch from the minute you wake up to the minute you go to bed, they are pretty much not in control of, but they own a large portion of the company. So to know, as a CEO of multiple companies, the CEO works for the shareholder. So when the shareholder comes to the board table and they say, this is where we're going, I guarantee you that they are moving there. So what is ESG? ESG is environmental social governance. So the things you're seeing, the target thing, uh, the Bud Light thing, that has to do with environmental social governance, okay? So what you're going to see, and this is nothing new under the sun, guys. This happens in humanity over and over and over again. That's why we don't fight. We don't protest. We don't go after the wrong thing. We work on ourselves, okay? So number one, this is nothing new under the sun. 1% <laughs> of the population owns 97% of the wealth and the money always ends up in the same hands. So what they're working to do is to move us into a new environment, Web 2.0 to Web 3.0, industrial to technical. They're changing the way you bank, the way you interact, the way you date, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you work, okay? They say in 2030, you're going to own nothing and be happy. Now, you have to go into the context of that. So everybody takes it in a negative sense, a positive sense. You just have to go, okay, put your lens on. How can you get your family ready for this? So here's what I've done, okay? So I've invested in a speculative asset called cryptocurrency. It is not my retirement. It's extremely speculative. You have to have a game plan. Number one is I, I buy when everybody's panicking and I sell when everybody's coming in. So 2024 around April going into 2025, I will be exiting the markets. 
I secure an index universal life, the infinity banking concept, tax code 7702. I insure, I compound, and I retire. I'm going to retire tax-free. Also diversified in business, information, technology, and attention. Precious metals for security, and we're getting into real estate vertical, which we call apartment complexes, next year because the normal everyday family is not going to be able to afford a single family home because companies like BlackRock are buying up all the residential real estate, and they're going to make it super expensive, okay? So it's going to be a rental society. It's going to be very, very different. The middle class is going to get wiped out, leverage source technology moving down to the working poor. So it's very important for you to get financial education is the most important thing. Understand how money moves through the system. If you're trading time for money, you will always be enslaved by money. Okay. Until you can make money while you sleep, you'll always live in poverty. So these are just brain things that we have to switch. Rich parents have rich kids. Poor parents have poor kids. So you have to rewire the foundation to end up in a different situation. Okay. So what I'm going to get is thousands of messages like every single week. So I solved the problem. What do you do, Coach JV? What do you do? I did it. I wrote a book. So basically what I did was is I beta tested it with my warriors. Over a thousand people have read it. Five star reviews across the board. It's completely free. In my bio here, it's a free PDF download of exactly what I've done the last five years and how I've helped over 7,000 people radically transform their lives. So there you go. Free resources. Completely free in my bio here. Number two is I'm a licensed insurance agent. I have licensed insurance agents in all 50 states teaching tax code 7702. How when we exit the markets, we secure, compound, and grow our wealth so that we don't get wrecked in these markets. That's also in my bio. It's a free consultation. I want to remind you, I will never proactively DM you. That's not me commenting in here. Those are scammers. Okay, We do not have an investment platform. I will never contact you on WhatsApp and I will not ask you about your portfolio, okay? So very, very important. So I love you guys, I appreciate you. The free book is ready to rock and roll, linked in the bio. And I really appreciate all your guys' help. Warriors, rise, get your shit together. Love you guys, have a great day.